Newbury it is, and it's the Worcester Novices Chase over three miles, a five-year-old and up. Number one is Battle of Agincourt for Joshua Sutherland. Serpents Golf for Jim Murray is two. Similarities for Molly at Surfer is three. Juniper Golf for Jim Murray is four. Soldiers Call for Paul Rhodes is five. And Vile Moments for Darren Thompson is six. Just six of them over this G2 event here at Newbury. The rain's coming down. The clouds are pretty dark and awesome. And we're already away. A fairly small tight field. They're into the four. And the one that went through that particularly bad was Vile Moments. A bit of a vile jump. But anyway, up front, it's Soldiers Call and Similarities. Although they're being joined by Vile Moments, Serpents Golf, Battle of Agincourt and Juniper Golf. They're all together. They get to the second. They're up and over it. Nobody really wants to take this along. It's a fairly pedestrian pace. And it's Soldiers Call for Paul Rhodes. It's taken about a three or four length of range from Similarities. Battle of Agincourt, Juniper Golf, Vile Moments and Serpents Golf. All together, the Golfs of Jim Murray. Juniper and Serpents, and the black and red silks, Joshua's Battle of Agincourt in the black with red hoops, and the German coloured flag silks of similarities, and just at the rear in the blue, the white cap is vile moments for Darren Thompson. But we're being led by the Rhodes machine of Soldiers Court, over the third, our moments is a little bit slow, and Soldiers Court has got about a seven or eight length advantage over the rest, but he's also... Uh, Running a little freely, the jockey taking a bit of a hold as we approach the next of this three mile G2 event. Novices and its soldiers call leads him into the fourth. He's up and over it, as are the remainder. I'm a little bit slow with the jump in, but the pace is fairly pedestrian. They're over the fifth and have another 14 to jump still. All still on their feet and a good couple of miles still to travel. That's Soldier's Golf for Paul Rhodes, leads him into the six, up and over it. As has a remainder, Serpent's Golf was a little bit slow over it. That's Soldier's Call. Leads him into the seventh. He'll skip over that quite nicely. Moved into second now, and he's only his vile moments. And third is Battle of Agincourt. Four is Serpent's Golf. Five is Juniper Golf, which is the one widest. Over the water, and just at the rear... Not much in the rear is similarities for Molly at Surfer. So we're less than two miles to travel now. It's Soldier's Call still in front. Professor Rhodes wins by about three to four to vile moments. We're going to go past the grandstand and the finishing post. And we'll have another circuit to travel here at Newbury. And it's Soldier's Call still leading. Vile moments, Serpent's Golf and Battle of Agincourt. And then similarities in Juniper Golf. So not much change in this. I think we had a good day yesterday. Had some winners. Day two. And we'll get a chance to get rid of a few horses. They got over the ninth. The leader was pretty slow over that. And uh, Serpent's Golf didn't jump it particularly well either. Went through the top of it. And we get to throw a few horses out of our stables and upload a few more this week. No break, but it's Soldiers of Colt. Still leads by a couple. We get over that ditch. Again, Juniper Golf didn't uh, get over it particularly well. Kind of stepped over it. And still being led by Soldiers Colt. Still got a mile and a quarter to travel here. Still another eight fences. And all over that again. So we're losing one here. Back of Agincourt is being pulled up. But Joshua Sutherland, bad luck continues. So we're now down to five. Soldiers Call from Vile Moments in second. Similar to Serpents Golf and Juniper Golf has just got a little bit detached now, but only just about a length or so. And the jockey's just pushing him along to get back into the chasing pack of three. But still up front over the third. Oh, and we've lost another one there. Vile Moments didn't get into that fence at all. Well, we're crashing through it, and we're down to four with a mile left to travel. So it's Soldier's Call, been there since the beginning, leads by four to Similarities, and then Servants, Golf and Juniper Golf. Jim Murray's going to pick up prize money all round if his horses stay on their feet here. And it's still Soldier's Call, been there since the beginning. By about just three now to Similarities, closing that gap. A couple back to Serpent's Golf and a further couple more to Juniper Golf. So six furlongs left to travel. They get to the 14th. Leaders over. Oh, we lost another one. Similarity's gone. He was in second. We're now down to three. Half the field have gone. 
and it's just soldiers called. It's been there since the beginning. Leads by about five to six to Serpent's Golf that's needed to be pushed along now. They're both off the bridle, the golf horses of Jim Murray. I'm going to try and cut down the lead of uh, Soldiers Call, who's starting to put further and further away now as he approaches the 15th. He skips over it. Oh, on a poor jump by second place, Serpent's Golf. Soldiers Call gets to the 16th, gets over it well, as does the remaining two, but it's still Soldiers Golf. Be surprised if he doesn't win from here. It's just under three furlongs left to run. As they approach the 17th, with only two fences to go, and the three are all over it. And there's probably 20 lengths between first and last. Soldiers called Jockey looks around, wonders where everybody else is. Looks again, gets over the 18th, the penultimate. But this lead's being cut now by Serpent's Golf. But Soldiers Call hasn't had much to do. The whip's out on him now inside the final furlong and a half. And it's Soldiers Call gets over the 19th, the water. Wasn't going to fall here at Newbury. So it's Soldiers Golf being chased down by Serpent. No, sorry, Soldiers Call being chased down by Serpent's Golf. Juniper Golf's going to be third or inside the five and a half of furlong. Comfortable and very easy win there for Soldiers Call from pillar to post. Takes a G2 event for Paul. Second was Serpents Golf. Third was Juniper Golf for Jim Murray. First win I've called for Paul today. So well done. Takes that G2 novice event by five and a half lengths. Was the second, well, it was almost top rated horse there. Battle of Agincourt for Joshua Southern. Bad luck with a pull up and vile moments of D. Thompson just couldn't get round. Neither could similarities.